News time! Hi everyone, welcome to Brick Vault. This is Mike and welcome to the weekly news update. Now, this is basically a major compilation video of every single picture that LEGO spammed us with over the course of last week. We have pretty much all the sets unveiled for the early 2019 and late 2018 from all the major waves, Star Wars, Ninja Go, LEGO Movie 2, uh, Minecraft, you name it, it's all there, so we're gonna talk about that. But before we get into all these news, I want you guys to check out our web store. Links below, because we have just added the new A-Wing um, in different color combinations, so something for everybody, and also the R22 prototype, which is the early version of A-Wing. Both are in the web store. Check it out. We have just added the A-Wing coming from no one else but Jarek. He's a very talented Star Wars builder for our store, makes a lot of awesome minifigure scale ships. And the A-Wing is the newest addition. There is a video made by Jack. I'm gonna link it below if you wanna check out this model in every single detail. And remember that every purchase you guys make in our web store supports our channel here at Brick Vault and also the designers like Jarek that we work with. Alright, on to the sets, there's a lot of them, so I'm gonna try to go through them quite swiftly. We have a reveal of 19 sets for the LEGO Movie 2, the second part. The starting date for selling these sets is December 26th, and there is a lot of cool stuff to sift through. For the youngest, we have Emmett and Lucy's visitors from the Duplo Planet, 10, 8, 9, 5, 53 pieces and 30 bucks. Very cute Duplo figs here, we may even get them. Lego Movie Maker 70820 has 482 pieces and goes for 50 bucks. This one's gonna be a great set because it includes all the major characters in one box. Emmett and Benny's Build and Fix Workshop 70821, 117 pieces for 20 bucks. You can notice that this set replaces the Junior's ones that would come out, as it shows the 4 plus age marking. That is a new approach from LEGO, replacing the Junior's sets next year. Unikitty's Sweetest Friends Ever 70822 with 76 pieces for 10 bucks. Great build for the personified chocolate bar and the ice cream cone. Lovely prints as well, this one's gonna be highly popular. Emmet's Thry Cycle 70823, 173 pieces for 15 bucks. A very weird set, I don't really like this one. But the brick build Duplo creature is kinda cute. Introducing Queen Whatever Wannabe 70824, 115 parts for 20 bucks. This one has the unique mix of minifigures and dolls. And I can see this set also being quite fun to get. Next one is Queen Whatever's Wannabe's Build Whatever Box. 70825 455 pieces for 40 bucks. A bunch of colorful bricks with great prints for faces. Rex's Rextreme Offroader is next. 70826 230 parts with a $30 price tag. And you can see what Lego did there because Rex Danger Vest is played by Chris Pratt and his Rexosaurus Dinosaur is, well, blue in color. So wink wink Jurassic World, right? The Raptor itself is actually very cool in this painting and the car transforms to make the Raptor drive it, so it's double cool. Ultra Curry and Warrior Lucy 70825 to 7, 383 pieces for 30 bucks. This one was shown before, was shown also at Comic Con, really good set. Pop up party bus 70828, 1013 pieces with 80 bucks price tag. I think one of my favorites here with a really cool shape for that bus, a lot of functions inside, and gets a very fun version of Unikitty along with two mini dolls. Emmett and Lucy's Escape Buggy 70829, 549 pieces for 50 bucks. Also was shown before, still like this set from Comic Con. Another one unveiled previously is the Sweet Mayhem's Side. Star Starship 70830 500 pieces even for 70 bucks. Again, a Comic Con shown set, but for these three, we finally see the box art. Next one is fun Emmett's Dream House slash Rescue Rocket 70831 706 parts, 70 bucks price tag. A two in one set to be specific transforms a normal house into a flying rocket house. The next one is Emmett's Builder Box 70832 125 parts for 30 bucks comes with this suitcase like one of the previous uh, Fire Junior sets and gets you three builds with Emmett and a Duplo guy. Similarly, Lucy's Builder Box 70833, 141 pieces, 30 bucks set, gets you Lucy and Unikitty, along with a few builds as well. Metal Bird's Heavy Metal Motor Trike 70834, 458 pieces, 60 bucks price tag. I think I'm gonna like this one a lot for the bike and also for a new version of Benny. The biggest one so far is the Rex's Rex Plorer 70835, 1172 pieces for a $120 price tag, and come with two Rexosauruses, which is cool on its own. Plus, I like the color scheme and the simple shape of that ship. One of the small ones is the battle-ready Batman and Metal Bird 70836, 168 pieces for 20 bucks. This one has that Batman with the cool pole drones that we shown before. 
And this one here I can see selling quite quickly. I would totally call it the classic space battle pack. Benny's Space Squad 70841 with 68 pieces for 10 bucks only. Gets you a crew of classic spacemen with one in pink. We get Kenny, Benny, Lenny, the pink one and Jenny. And it's also a comeback of the classic space helmet shape. That was a lot. Let's go to Star Wars now. Elite Praetorian Guard Battle Pack 75225. Yes, we are getting those cool guys from that throne room set in a separate battle pack, finally. We have no official prices on these sets yet, but this one's gonna be probably about 15 bucks as usual. Microfighters are getting the Sith Infiltrator 75224. And what seems to be an update on the Darth Maul. The back of the box also shows the 75223 uh, Naboo Starfighter with Anakin minifigure. These two will be most likely 10 bucks each as usual. This is interesting, Inferno Squad Battle Pack 75226, a first set that is strictly connected to the Battlefront 2 game. We are getting Idian Verso, the main character from the game for the first time, and new outfits for the Special Forces Stormtroopers, which is actually very cool. Wasn't expecting this one at all, but here it is. Next one is Escape Pod vs. Dewback, Microfighter 75228. Fun factor is there, a small dewback and an escape pod with C-3PO and R2. The Death Star Escape 75229. Stormtrooper, Luke and Leia are in this one. Seems like one of those small places for maybe 20 bucks uh, price tag. And there is the comeback to the old days. Droid Gunship 75233. Actually looks quite decent, we are getting an update on the battle droids, you can see the new prints. There is also Yoda and the new figure for a Wookiee Chief. ATAP Walker 75234, probably the best one from the wave so far. Cool prints for clone troopers, there is Chewie and two new battle droids as well. Things get a bit interesting here as well, there's the X-Wing Starfighter Trench Run 75235 and that is what seems to be a Junior's Star Wars set, the 4 plus version. So first time ever we are getting a Junior's touch on the Star Wars theme. The simpliest of the X-Wings and also a pilot probably look, R2 and a Stormtrooper in that one. Same goes for the Rebel A-Wing Starfighter 75247, also a Juniors slash 4 plus set, with a super simple perfect start as they call it A-Wing build. And I like that A-Wing minifigure, another great addition to the collection. Going further, Ninjago 2019 is called the Legacy. As uh, remote previously, we're getting a comeback to the first waves of sets from that awesome line. And boy what a comeback that is. First we get Spinjitzu Lloyd vs Garmadon 70664, 208 pieces set. Really like the style of those new spinners. And you can easily see the comeback of the first type of Ninjago Cowl, or maybe just a small update, but a one piece thing. The Samurai Mech 70665 is a comeback, 154 pieces. Don't like this one as much, but it's still a nice comeback to the Season 1 mech. The Golden Dragon 70666, 171 pieces only. Simple, but we are getting the comeback of the Gold Ninja. And a really cool new minifigure of some sort of a ghost form of Garmadon. I don't remember if he was a thing in season 2 because that's what the set is from. Next we got the usual dual bike set, Kai's Blade Cycle and Zane's Snowmobile 70667. 376 pieces. As always, they do look cool. And it's also a comeback to season 1 with the serpent being featured. Here's my favorite of them all, Jay's Stormfighter 70668, 490 pieces. That jet looks just awesome, almost like a spacecraft, I'm gonna really like this one. And again, these serpent from season 1 are having a comeback. Cole's Earth Driller 70669, 857 pieces. And yes, a buildable Garmadon, awesome. The vehicle is cool as well, it's gonna be a solid set overall. And the biggest one that we know of so far is the Monastery of Spinjitsu, 70670, 1070 pieces. And I guess you're gonna get all the ninjas here, Wu from Season 1. And what seems to be a bunch of collectible Golden Mold weapons. This one is probably a must have. Here we have an entirely new line of Asia region exclusive sets, and these look absolutely great. This one here is the Chinese New Year's Eve dinner, 80101. That building looks beautiful, the setting looks beautiful and we get an array of amazing minifigures. I wonder how difficult it's gonna be to get that set here in the US. Most likely we will have to be importing those from China. The other set is the Dragon Dance 80102, a very unique set portraying this unique Chinese tradition. And the minifigures are awesome, I think we get a pig suit guy and four carriers of the dragon. So just for the minifigs alone, those sets are pretty much a must-haves. It seems like LEGO superheroes might be no more soon, as LEGO is splitting a number of characters into their own themes. As we have reported on Spider-Man some time ago, we are getting 4 sets uh, soon from Spider-Man. 
Batman is also getting a small line. Batman Mech vs Poison Ivy Mech 76117 is a set also shown at Comic Con and was shown before just be without the box art. Still I like this set a lot and I think it's gonna be a fun build. And the new one shown is the Bat Sub and the Underwater Crash 76116 includes Ocean Master, Aquaman and Batman and minifigures. Doesn't really appear to me as much, but we'll see how it goes. Minecraft is doing a new approach this time around. We have Steve with Parrot 21148 with 153 pieces. And at first I thought it would be a brick head, but we actually get a brick built Steve figure, not even a minifigure. This one's gonna be really cool and I can see a lot of Minecraft fans just getting this one right away. Same goes for Alex with Chicken 21149, 160 pieces. I do like that build for the chicken. I gotta be honest. And going the same route, we are getting Skeleton with Magma Cube, 21150, 142 pieces. Honestly, the Magma Cube looks very similar or the same like the one we had in the Nether sets previously, but I like this Skeleton with the bow and a hidden Spring Loader shooter. The End Battle, 21151, 222 pieces. A comeback of the Enderman, and honestly that the dragon doesn't look that good, we had a better dragon previously. However, there is a new minifigure of the Dragon Slayer character. And the last one that we know so far about is the Pirate Ship Adventure 21152, 386 pieces. The best set by far for me, we are getting a new zombie, pirate, parrot, a turtle and a dolphin. So that means expanding our Minecraft collection quite a bit. The last three waves to cover are Technic, City and Creator. Surprisingly enough, some of these sets are actually right now appearing in Canadian stores. But let's see what are the upcoming sets. From Technic we have Power Boat 42089, Getaway Truck 42090, Police Pursuit 42091, Rescue Helicopter 42092. And this is where things are getting interesting, we are getting Porsche 911 RSR 42096. Quite a surprise, 1580 pieces set. Looks great and it's a surprise because we had the GT3 RS, which is still an awesome set. This one will be a bit smaller, but still has everything you need to have for a proper model of a Technic car. A great set for quite a legendary car. There is a second car, Chevrolet Corvette ZR1 42093 with only 579 pieces. This one actually looks great at the scale and I'm again surprised by Technic providing those amazing cars in smaller scale. And this one is a 2 in 1 build, you can also build a, some sort of a hot rod. There is the remote controlled Stunt Racer 42095 with 324 pieces. Interestingly enough it is using the old power functions not the new ones and is probably meant as a replacement for the current tracked racer. Then there is the Tracked Loader, 42094, 827 pieces, also a 2-in-1 build and goes together well with all those utility vehicles of Technic. And last but not least we have Siri and Creator, surprisingly again, these sets are available in certain Canadian stores. From LEGO City we are getting Barbecue Burnout, 60212, the Construction Loader, 60219, also from City. Then there is the Dock Side Fire, 60213, Downtown Fire Brigade, 60216 and you gotta pay attention to this one, it has the new light and sound system that's gonna be -ish appearing in 2019. Also, there seems to be a pneumatic water cannon. Desert Rally Racer 60218. Garbage truck 60220, you can spot that 4 plus sign, meaning it's a replacement for the juniors, so it's a simple build. Diving Yacht 60221, Snow Groomer 60222, and finally Harvester Transport 60223, and I like this one for the looks of that truck. Creator Futuristic Flyer 31086, Dune Buggy 31087, Deep Sea Creatures 31088, Sunset Truck Racer 31089, and the comeback of the shuttle in the shuttle transporter set 30191. And the last build to show up from the creator is the underwater robot 31090. For me, this one has the Aquazone vibes, which is pretty good. Alright, I think that was all of them. No, wait, there is one more. Lego Duplo My First Mini Build 10897. An interesting concept to introduce the youngest ones to the characters of Disney and I love those prints. Moving away from the sets, we have the new trailer for the Lego Movie 2, the second part. And I'm gonna warn you, if you don't wanna get spoiled, this is the kind of trailer that shows a lot of the plot points. It's a really good one, shows all the new characters that were shown in various posters and in the new sets. But still uh, tells you a lot about how the movie will go, so if you don't wanna watch it, don't. If you wanna, there's a link below. 
New York Toy Fair is happening usually in February every year and now you can vote for the Toy of the Year awards. The winners will be announced before the event and as usual LEGO was nominated in a bunch of categories. Collectible of the year is the LEGO Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts collectible minifigures. That is absolutely not a surprise, great collection to have. The construction toy of the year is the LEGO Star Wars Castle Run Millennium Falcon 75212 and also the Harry Potter Hogwarts Great Hall 75954. The license of the year may go to LEGO Jurassic World. The playset of the year might be the LEGO Creator Roller Coaster 10261 or the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom in the Raptor Rampage at Lockwood Estate 75930. And the Press School Toy of the Year might be the LEGO Duplo Steam Train 10874, which I concur, great set. Specialty Toy of the Year, LEGO Star Wars Betrayal at Cloud City 75222 or the LEGO Harry Potter Hogwarts Castle 71043, which is my favorite to be honest. Vehicle of the Year nominee, LEGO Technic Bugatti Chiron 42083, no surprise, absolutely great, just legendary model to be honest. And we're gonna have to wait and see on which categories LEGO will win this year. The Creator Vestas Wind Turbine 10268 is available as of this publishing, it's right now in the LEGO stores. We did a review on this set, if you wanna check it out I'm gonna leave a link below, it's a really fun set to build. And LEGO has also posted the designer video on this one, in this new style of theirs which I really like, so check that one out, the link is below. If you still are planning to get the LEGO Harry Potter Bricktober pack from Barnes & Noble, you can still do so. You can still get it with a $75 LEGO purchase until December 26th online or December 25th in the Barnes & Noble stores. And of course, while supplies last. And now a quick look at the LEGO Ideas, a platform where you can submit your LEGO creations for people to vote for them and the magical 10,000 supporters number may get you an actual LEGO set in the stores. No new sets approved, but there is one I kinda wanna showcase. Scrooge McDuck Safe Building. Um, I don't know, I was just a big fan of uh, McDuck's and Donald Duck and the nephews and so on and so on. All these comics were my childhood. And I think there is a theme kind of a missing in LEGO because they have Disney, why not go into the DuckTales territory. This one comes from Ita Lover Gnat. And I think the scale is just fun for such a building, such an iconic thing from the Duckburg city. I've always wanted to have a model of this guy on my desk, so maybe that's why I chose this project today. And I think this build might be a good start to let LEGO know that we may actually want something connected to the DuckTales. And of course, the link is below if you want to support the project and make this happen. And that is gonna be it for this week's news update. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this slideshow of pictures of different sets. I'm really excited about some of these, LEGO Movie 2, super strong line, Star Wars is getting a nice comeback to the Clone Wars, a bunch of good things to wait for, really excited, I think LEGO is gonna be killing it in the, this, uh, in the next early 2019 uh, wave season of LEGO sets. Can't wait, I hope you guys cannot wait as well. Thank you so much for watching, don't forget to check out our web store, uh, www.brickvault.toys for uh, the A-Wings and not only, we have a bunch of other Star Wars ships as well, everything is minifigure scale. Check it out, I really appreciate you. Thanks so much for watching again, it was Mike, and I'll see you next time on Brick Vault.